Hi, I'm Alan Maddox, and I tutor 5th through ninth grades. Today, I don't want to take up too much of your time, because I know it's very precious, but I wanted to um, show you a couple of my little secrets that I have. I want to pass along to the parents so that you can um, have some of the tools that I have that um, help out a lot with um, when you're working on homework with your middle school child. So, um... One of the things that I wanted to, to tell you about is, where did I put it, is this. It's a list of commonly misspelled words by middle school students. Um, this is, is not a list that I made up, so I don't want to take credit for it. It's um, a, a person on a website called Teachers Pay Teachers. Now, this, this list here is free. I'll put a link down in there, and why don't you go on? You can download this. Um, the editor, the I'm sorry, the author of this list, why don't you give them some likes and let them know that, um, that you appreciate giving this for free because not everything on that site is for free, and, and there's a lot of good stuff there. You really should look into getting it. But this is for you. You do not share this with your kids. You want to have this as your secret weapon so that you know what to look for. Okay? You don't tell them about this. Okay? Don't tell them. One thing I would like to pass along to you on the same note is um, there's some words that kids do get confused with on their meanings and um, and their spelling. And some words that sound the same have different spelling, different meanings. They spell the same, but they mean something different. It gets very confusing. English language is terrible. So what I want you to do is to get them a, a small notebook, something something about like this size. This would be a good size to get for them. You know, it, it doesn't even have to be like, like this. It could be a composition book. It could be something smaller. It could be something bigger, just anything at all. Um, and the idea is that when they misspell a word, um, is to write it down in here the correct way. If you just give them this and they look on it, it's just one step less of learning. Writing things down helps to learn. So just just a little uh, um, secret hint there. And... Um, Sometimes even like a, a quick definition, if if there's uh, several words like there, there, and there um, that uh, are spelt differently, they mean different things, and they're um, but they all sound the same. How do you tell them apart? Um, a quick little definition of which one is which, like two, two, two. You don't know how many people get that one wrong too. So um, that would be that's my tip for your child for you to get a book like this for your child to um, start making a list of words that they misspell and uh, it just helps them out too and they, what it is is every time they write something they can refer back to this and, and see which words it is that they're using that um, if they spelled it wrong they'll find it here and um, they'll be able to make their own corrections pretty quickly um, also, one thing that I have done on my own is on the back side of this. Now, okay, now you got the front, okay, and the back, okay. If we open up the back, we still have lined pages there. One thing that I like to do here is to put, um, starting from the back and work forward, are um, math equations like in algebra and geometry and just like what is you know the circumference of a circle and just that um, equation because sometimes uh, they'll still they'll work on something and they'll fly by and then they, they won't remember it later on because I know I've got a bad memory with some of these especially some of these formulas get very confusing and if you just put it on on uh, if they write it down and they write it down like uh, geometry formulas and just write down which one it is um, they, it would, it, it's a big help. And that way all, they have this all together in one place that they can have in their backpack and, um, 
and it's easy for them to use. Make sure that they have a pen or a pencil, pen pref preferably, um, because pencil smudges after a while. Um, and they, they'll they'll find use for this for at least if for at least the uh, the three years that they're in middle school. So I just wanted to give you those those two tips and um, another tip for you. Uh, I don't know if you want to pass this on to your child just yet. It is some of them already caught on to this, but uh, there's a nice little program called Grammarly. There's a free version and there's a paid version. Uh, the free version is really good because it, it gives you spelling corrections. It gives you grammar corrections and suggestions. The paid version gives you even more on how to reconstruct sentences and stuff like this. If you get the free version for yourself, take what they've done. If they share something with you in, um, in, in a document, in a, in a text document, they give you a text document, you can run on your computer to put the text document on your computer, run Grammarly on it, and you'll be able to find quickly all of the misspelled words and you'll be able to um, mark them as things that need to be corrected to send on back. So those are a couple of my tips and tricks that I wanted to pass on for you guys today. If you found this helpful and you know somebody who has kids who are in the middle school, share this. There's a, there's a button right, right, right there. I think it is right there. That says share S H A R E. Share. Yeah, that one, that one. Okay, press that one and send it off to your friends so that they can um, uh, learn about the little tricks of that I that I use when when I'm working with middle school kids. Um, like, if you haven't already, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it because if you like, subscribe and share, Facebook gets all worked up over that and they make this uh, more available out on people's feeds and the more people that see it the better off that they're going to be and the better off the there are the better their kids do in school you know that type of thing so like like subscribe and share thank you very much good night